Good morning, everybody. How's it all going? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Came out for a little morning watering, and I figured that I would uh, give a quick little run through things because uh, me and the family were away for a couple of days. Uh, we, we took the kids camping at Pinery and uh, came back. And there is all kinds of new stuff going on and it's pretty awesome so uh, as always uh, welcome back if you are already a viewer subscriber whatever you want to call it if it's your first time watching definitely make sure that you subscribe uh, follow along with all the fun that we're having in the garden and watching everything go crazy we got uh, these cool variegated mini roses down here these things are pretty awesome looking super cool uh, before I left to go camping I harvested everything I mean just about everything that was ripe and even from standing right here you can already see how much other ripe stuff there is everywhere it's pretty crazy how much stuff is filled out uh, here uh, these are the two root over rock flares I started last year this guy's just about ready to get the uh, supports off He's pretty established there, but I'm just letting the roots kind of really, really take place before I do anything with it. And uh, this one has not had any support for a very long time. He is very, very well established. But those were both still indoor. And because they've ended up over the winter, uh, and I mean even the spring as well, being sprayed so many times uh, to make sure no bugs got on them and stuff like that, the leaves have started almost getting a little tacky. They're almost a little... I mean, you can almost kind of see they're a little shiny and kind of getting a little sticky. So I brought them outside. I'm going to hose them all off and give them a little bit of love. Uh, this here is a Brazilian rainforest tree. This is all brand new growth. This guy was very little just even a few weeks ago. And uh, as the morning starts and the day begins, all of these little folded up little pea pod looking shape things those are all gonna open up and the leaves will all sprout out and they got some pretty gnarly little spikes on them they get very 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 wild uh, over here we got a Tweety uh, the leaves have already started opening up on that they actually kind of do the same thing they fold up at night some of the lower ones you can see there's some down here that haven't quite opened up all the way uh, we got Chinese elm over there. We got some more little Chinese elm down here. These uh, golem finger jade. Uh, these were also indoor. The same thing. I wanted to bring them outside. They were looking a little mildewy and stuff. So I'm gonna give them a really nice clean and let them live outside a little bit. Uh, that uh, polka dot plant was never intended to be in there. Yeah, I guess seeds must have fallen from flowers from one of the other ones that I had in the house and it just grew so i just let it live its life uh down here we got the uh amur flame maple i cut that all back before i left and it's already got tons of new growth you can see all the little red leaves starting on the tips this is a cool little experiment that i did this is just a green bean and i took two tomato cages and it is already almost fully encased the whole thing and uh, it's already had enough green beans on it that I cleaned it off last night and I had enough for the whole family for dinner. And it's working out very well. Over here we got oh, a uh, heirloom uh, pineapple tomato. I This thing two, three weeks ago was only about this big and it was just sitting in the back corner of a clearance section in a garden center and it was on for a buck. So I figured I'd bring it home. You can't even buy a tomato for a dollar anymore. So I figured I'd throw it in the dirt and see what happened. And it is already probably four times at least the size that it was and looking very, very, very happy and healthy. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, Brussels sprouts down here. Haven't quite started filling out yet but they're getting gigantic. This is uh, uh, just about my waist right now. Uh, more green beans there. These are little mini uh, melon cukes. 
and you can see a couple of little guys starting on there, tucked away in there and stuff. Uh, the grapefruit are doing fantastic. They are big, they are very heavy, and they are doing well. Over here, we got the little citrus area. Uh, the key lime, there's only one on it right at this minute in there, but all of this, all of this, all of this, this was, it was honestly, it was very, very sparse when we got it. There's, the majority of this is all brand new growth. And then next to that, we have the Calamondins. So this is the one that, this is the video that everybody seems to watch on my channel uh about getting this thing to fruit and grow and stuff uh, it doesn't have a ton on it right now i can see one sitting over here there's a couple kind of going on it right now uh my wife's has a ton going on it at the minute they've been on there for quite a while there's a ton there's even a bunch of little guys started uh, but to compare these were the exact same size when i got them and uh, this is hers on its own and <laughs> this <laughs> is mine <laughs> it's probably about three times the size and they were almost identical when we got them. So, mine is not absolutely coated in fruit at the minute. But it is beyond healthy. I've already got two full uh, harvests off of it. And, uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very happy. Uh, after we get all the fruit off of this, we're going to repot this. And we're going to kind of get this one all filled out and doing the same thing. Now over here we just got some maple, some locusts, those are honey locusts there. Uh, this is a, actually a Calamondin cutting from last year that I just started wiring. I'm going to actually make it into a proper bonsai and uh, like let it go right to the point of getting fruit and everything on it. But I'm going to style it really cool. All the red onions are literally starting to pop right up out of the soil. All the little evergreens down there, and the Japanese wisteria. I'm not letting it go too wild up on everything because I'm really trying to develop the trunk area and try to get this really heavy and thick. And then once that kind of starts getting a little bit thicker and a little bit more established, we'll let the rest of it go. But I've been kind of continuously weaving it back in on itself over top of this trellis that I kind of put in there. And, uh, and there's a couple of pieces that keep on running away and stuff like that. That's fine, I'll let those guys do their thing as much as they want to. But yeah, onto uh, the actual peppers because again, I harvested everything before I left. And there is so much ripening up everywhere all over these plants. These, uh, this is the scorpion peppers that I had from last year. This is the plant that's still alive from last summer. And they are so much waxier than they were last year. They are very, very, very incredibly shiny. Here, I'll see ones in the sun there. You can see they are so waxy. It's pretty crazy. I do not remember them being anything like that at all last year. But the flesh feels very, very dense on them. So. Maybe they're going to have some nice crunch to them. Those were mean peppers. I do remember that much about them. Uh, we have already got a couple of more of the sugar ripe peach, sugar rush peach, whatever you want to call them. Over here we got more of these guys ripening through into the peach stage. These are the purple peach ghost. You can see that there. Starting to go through into those colors. Oh, down the way, that's just a sweet uh, banana pepper. We've got all these Maruga scorpions that are all ripening through. 
and that oh that kicked my ass that was a mean pepper uh might not have the same scovels as a couple other things but holy the burn on that thing the way it hits you is just cruel uh finally have some of these ajis ripening up i never got to see the color of them before but i'm finally starting to actually get to see the way that they're ripening through uh, the other Aji plant uh, over there that we will get to uh, have a bunch ripened up on them now and they ended up being like a really nice deep red and I had one yesterday and it was absolutely fantastic oh down here let's crouch down a little bit these are all original seven pot uh, no hybrid no cross no anything like that they're just the actual original seven pot strain uh, down here we got some bishop's crown that are finally ripening through oh that guy looks like he's yeah he's got a little soft spot down there yeah that sucks but a bunch of these are all ripening through all nice oh some gigantic bell peppers down here they are getting very 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 large uh, we'll swing around through to the other side uh, we got some fresnos that are raping in through you down in here. Let's see that guy down there. <clears throat> I did not know that these uh, black cobras would ripen through to red. And I had one the other day and it was incredibly fruity. Very, very, very sweet. I was pretty happy about that. Oh, here's the other Aji plant. That's what they're gonna turn out as, so. My suspicion is that it's a Aji Cristal. It's the closest phenotype that kind of looks like that. Most of the other Aji's get a little wrinkly and stuff. Like these, uh, these are the lemon drops. That's another kind of Aji. You can see they get a lot more wrinkly. They get shape and stuff to them where all of these are all pretty smooth. They're almost like jalapeno smooth. And uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Instantaneous, really nice burn. Like the second that you tasted it, there was no buildup. It was just hot right away. It wasn't super intensely hot and lots of really sweet fruity flavor. Those are fantastic peppers. I'm very glad. Uh, this, <laughs> so I completely cleaned this habanero plant off before I left. Uh, there was no ripe peppers on it at all whatsoever. And uh, it, this is the final stage of them. They're orange habaneros. This is how they're going to stay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of them ripened up while I was gone. Very happy about that. Over here, we got oh, the golden seven pot brain strains. And uh, man, what a delicious pepper. So stupid hot, but so fantastically tasty. Very, very happy with those. I'll be growing those again next year, 100% for sure. Uh, over here, we got seven pot primos. We actually have some ripe ones up over. Uh, we'll get to those in a minute. Uh, those finally ripening up. Over here, we got some more uh, marugas. All ripening through. Everything's looking nice on there. Over here. Now, these look like a scorpion, but they all have this very weird puckered tip on them. Every one of them. They all have this weird puckered tip. And I've never, I've grown a lot of scorpion peppers and I have a lot of them all growing out here. And none of them get that weird puckered tip on it. So I'm not exactly sure if that's some kind of a weird hybrid or that's just a weird fluke in the phenotype or what, but every single one on the whole plant has it. It's pretty interesting. Uh, over here, we've got some of these guys. They are looking just, look at that little tail tucked way up in there. Just looking real mean. Very happy about that. They all have really cool little tails on that. And same with this guy over here. Just looking, I mean, that just looks like it was put here to hurt you. Absolutely fantastic. And there are some ripe 
seven pot primos my first ones i'm gonna be trying one of those today and kicking myself in the teeth a little bit i'm sure uh some serranos over here ripened right through to red we got some tabascos finally all ripening through all kinds of stuff these are those takaras that's the shishido uh, hybrid i really really enjoy these they have a little too thin of a wall for me i would like if they had a little more meat on them uh, a little more crunch but they're absolutely delicious peppers fantastic the purple princess or a purple bell pepper a whole bunch of those all going a whole bunch more all starting oh down here we've got a couple more poblanos starting to ripen through get that nice chocolatey kind of tone to it oh, all these little bits of elm down here are were all cuttings just from a little piece of branch from last year and they're all basically little trees now this guy i actually dug up from a crack in a parking lot at one of the shops i work at and it has as you can see very much established itself it was just a barren little piece and it had i think it was this branch yes i think it was that branch or this one here were the only ones that were actually left on it and that was it it was just a barren stick with some roots and Elms are very, very, very resilient if you give them the opportunity to be. We got some strawberries ripening up down there. Uh, we've already eaten all of the blueberries. Every single time they get ripe, the wife or I grab some of them because they're awesome. So, <laughs> some more serranos back there ripening through to red. Everything's doing great. Oh, these are going to be uh, Hungarian wax. This was another very late edition, another dollar uh, garden center clearance thing. Uh, again, uh, about a week, week and a half ago, it was about that big. And not only has it doubled in size, but we've already got some nodes starting where it's going to start some buds. Now, normally, if I was trying to let this get really, really big, I might not let those... I might, I might pluck those off right now and let it get a little bit bigger and more established before it starts putting any peppers on it. But seeing that we're already well into August, uh, like uh, <laughs> towards the end of August, this isn't going to have a ton of time to do much. So I'm just going to let it rock and pump out whatever it can. Uh, the only reason I really want to get at least a couple peppers off it is so that way if it does turn out to be good, I really enjoy Hungarian wax peppers, uh, like the hot Hungarian wax. So if it does turn out to be good, this way I can at least grab some seeds, get a nice early start for next year and get some stuff established ahead of time for next year too. Uh, we got all these white ghosts that have ripened right through. I think this might actually be, mm, at least for like a really hot pepper, just about my favorite pepper I think I've ever had. That or that golden seven pot they are just so unbelievably delicious it's it's insane nothing will ever beat my uh lemon drops if i had to get stuck with one hot pepper for the rest of my life it would definitely be a lemon drop but those uh white ghosts and those golden uh brain strains are just unbelievably delicious peppers so so hot but so good we have a ton of these uh <clears throat> excuse me uh indigo kumquat cherry tomatoes all ripening through i made a tomato salad last night with a giant uh, I, I filled half of my hat full of them and it's a very very proficient plant as well and yeah like i said i just uh we were gone for a couple of days i came back and all of these fantastic things were ripening through and happening out here figured i'd uh share real quick we got so many different colors of hibiscus right now. It's like a nice deep, deep red. We've got this really cute, like this is almost like a deep fuchsia, hot pink kind of a color with these white little veins going on in it. it looks super cool. And then over here, 
sorry to wrap, wrap back around. These are actually just little guys because they haven't fully, fully started yet, but you can see it's a hibiscus. And then we've got these ones that are more of a traditional kind of that coral pinky pinky orange kind of a color and then we got these beautiful guys over here that's uh oh we got a couple more that are about to open up those guys are just awesome i love how beautiful those are yeah we got a whole lot oh and then these ones uh i forgot these ones are like a super 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 soft pink almost like a powdery pink uh, yeah, we we like our hibiscus. We got a lot of roses sharing around here too, but uh, we didn't bring any big ones that are already flowering. I just brought some small stuff to get started and established. But uh, yeah, for now, that's uh, probably going to be about it. I just wanted, oh, you can see some of these all starting to open up now. They're getting their sunlight, they're getting all happy. Uh, but yeah, like I said, for now, that's probably going to be about it. And if you actually watch through, Thanks again for uh, following along and having any interest in this stuff. I'm having a great time this summer and enjoying all these different things going and enjoying people following along and asking questions and having conversations and stuff about it. If you guys have any questions about stuff, by all means, uh, definitely leave comments or ask away. I'm definitely uh, down to answer whatever I can or try along the way. And, uh, oh yeah, actually, before I go, these are very interesting because <clears throat> I was confused along the way thinking that some of them may have been, uh, black nagas. And then they started getting all of these much more kind of ghost pepper type shape as opposed to a naga being long and thin. And then some of them started getting these tails and now some of them are ripening through to those peach colors. So they're like the purple peach ghost. Uh, this guy I'm saving specifically for that phenotype. I'm gonna try to grow a plant off of these because if I can get it to be anything like that, that is just beautiful. That is just a mean, angry, awesome looking pepper. Um, but yeah, uh, they're very, very interesting. If anyone else has had an experience like that and had them go from super, super intensely dark and then regress back through green and then end up something else. Uh, also kind of share your story along because I think it's super cool how it's happening. It's really interesting. They literally go from that super dark right through to the green and then start ripening up to this peachy tone. And it's super, super cool. But uh, yeah, again, for now, that'll be about it. Thanks again. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, do it and keep checking back and seeing how everything's going. But for now, everyone have a great day. Enjoy your gardens, enjoy the weather, and uh, try to enjoy as much of the summer as you can while it's still here because unfortunately, all of these things and all this nice weather are gonna be gone before long. And <laughs> on that sad note, I guess I'll uh, say have a great day and we'll talk again soon. Cheers, guys.